All right, welcome to Badger State Roleplay. We're going to be going over another script here tonight. So, we're going to go over the attach script. And I'm waiting for a Leo training right now, so I got nothing else to do. So, let's uh, show you guys how to make it work. T slash attach, and it's all got to be lowercase. And you're just going to press enter, and it's going to pop up with that little thing. So, whichever one of these vehicles you want to be the towing vehicle is the first vehicle you will select. That green line pops up and you press enter. As I can tell you, that is confirmed that it's a towing vehicle. Then you go to the second vehicle you have chosen and wait for the green line to pop up and you will press enter and that vehicle will be the one being towed. Now you can put vehicles on trailers, all kinds of fun stuff with this particular script. Seven and eight, turn the vehicle left and right. I don't really have a good way of showing you this. So you, let on the, you have to have a number pad for this to work, so 7, 8 on the number pad. If you hold shift, they do big turns all at once. 8 and 5, move it forward and backwards. Uh, let's do 4 and 6 first, though. 4 and 6, go left and right, like hold sideways. Hold shift, bigger groups at once. Come around here, now you have 8 and 5. Again with the shift, you got big groups. Page up moves the car up and down, or more up, page down, moves the car down, insert, tips the back end down, delete, tips the nose down, and you can't spin it in a circle, so that's as close as you can get, is uh, 7 and 9, but you can't do like right wheels rotate over the left wheels, like to make a barrel roll, can't do that, once you get the vehicle in the position you'd like, you press enter on the number pad or the regular enter doesn't really matter but i usually use the number pad enter now the vehicle is stuck like that now you have to enter the vehicle that is towing it while you are in the vehicle or you get in the vehicle and get out of the vehicle such as so i'm just going to stay in the vehicle because that's what i do you do t slash d e catch and you press enter don't put the backspace in there and then there now holds all your little controls here and my chat box is in the way. And use all the same buttons to place the vehicle off to the side. And you press enter. Do not leave it above a trailer. Always take it off the trailer. If you leave it on a trailer, it's going to glitch out and do stupid things. But that is how you use the attach script. Now, say you are doing the attached script. And something goes really funky, like... You don't like how the vehicle looks or something, or something comes up that you don't want to do it, do T slash E touch. Space. Cancel, and you press enter, and it cancels the attachment and just drops the car where it's at. And as I said before, you can use this with trailers. So let's pull a trailer out here. That is the wrong... So I'm going to use my trailer as the tower. Got to wait for the green line to pop up. There it popped up. I'm going to tow this car. Now I got to bring it forward and bring it down. You can do multiple functions at once. And you press enter and now the vehicle is right there on the trailer. You can also put the ramps down, drive onto the trailer, press E as in Edward or G as in George, and it will clip the car to the trailer, but I have a lot of issues with that, so I always just use attach script. And I have to enter the trailer, this put me in the car, of course, and it's in the car again. And I'm in the car again, oh, nope, that was on the trailer. So we're going to take the car off, we're going to lift it. Straight in the air, and we're gonna press enter to basically unlock it from the trailer. And it's gonna go all glitchy glitchy like that. That is why we always make sure to not have it on a trailer. Always put it off to the side of the trailer and you'll be perfectly fine. Alright guys, thanks for watching this five minute little intro here to the attached script. If you have any questions, reach out and ask the people of our community and we will all gladly